And my opinion is that these human rights, which they are fighting for, are universal rights, and only societies which respect such rights can hope to achieve real and lasting process. That's my departure point. And stressing the universality of human rights also means to me stressing the universality of women's rights. Women have not only taken part in these struggles, indeed, they have been very much in the vanguard. Women have organized themselves into communication and action networks alongside men that we haven't seen before and use their influence and experiences with local medi mediation to promote a peaceful and democratic translation. Today, women make up over 40% of the global labor force, but look what it looks like in the region. Women's entrepreneurship represents an unexploited opportunity for increasing competitiveness and private sector development. In the Middle East and North Africa, only 28% of working age women enter labor force compared to 65% in OECD countries. Here is a huge resource that I think can help to change, both on a macro and micro level. And it is now essential for sustainable and democratic development in the region that political and economic reform measures are designed and implemented in a transparent manner and that they do not sideline women by securing the rights of women and promote gender equality and their full inclusiveness. It's also a question of smart economics. Discrimination in the labor market against women is a tragedy for the individual, but also translate into economic losses for the society as a whole. Inequality not only breeds poverty, it perpetuates poverty. <laughs>